Alright, let's go on guys. Luke have another PvP build, this time I'm a magical sorcerer with a specific Imperial City build with Imperial Physique on the body which gives a ton of magical stamina and HP if we have at least 10k to vow on ourselves. Combined with Crafty Eye Feek on the back bar, Death Leader's Feet is Mythic and one Domi House for extra magic and stamina with 30 Death Leader's Feet stacks. We are at 157k max magica. It's insane. On the front bar, the Masters Inferno stuff. With Flame Reach as spellable, not the knockback one. Flame Reach gives extra range, cost reduction, and an extra dot on top. We don't really need the knockback morph, we have Streak as CC. Is it worth to stack as much magica as possible? Yes, on the magica saucer, way the more worth it because it increases our shield size and on top also our damage. So if it's useful, then on the magica saucer. Armor types, one heavy chest for extra resistance, one medium shoulder and five light with five impen and two well fitted. Three prismatic glyphs on the big pieces, small pieces, max magica, full arcane for extra magica, with two magica recoveries and one prismatic region glyph. Definitely needed, we don't have any sustain with the setup, even if we have a ton of magica and stamina, still needed those sustain glyphs. Front bar inferno stuff with the flame damage enchant in sharp and for extra pen. And back bar sword and board, powered sturdy, YA shield, simply for extra magicka, and escape his poisons as poisons. I need to say though that this build is probably not made for everyone VX player. I did it because I like the challenge and for YouTube purpose. Other than that, I would recommend to use this build with small scale, with maybe one he bought or just a good group in general, like this you decrease the chance to lose your Tevar. 5k Tevar, each death is quite a lot after a while. Skills, nothing special, with Boundless Storm, our resistance buff, and for Mage Expedition, Hunting Curse, then Flame Reach, like I said, this more for the extra range, cost reduction and the extra dot. We don't need the knockback with Streak as CC, Crystal Fragment, Streak SCC and for mobility, Greater Storm Astronach is ultimate, alternative go with power load for more single type pressure. Back bar, damper magic and hard on board, both shields, which gets buffed next patch. Really hyped for it. Bigger still a Seraphir. Bound Aegis for extra 8% max magica, which increases our shield size and gives even minor protection, another 5% damage reduction and on top minor resolve. Even if you don't need it, we we'll figure on a bar. Dark conversion for sustained teething and spare wall as defense ultimate. As race high elf, best choice with weapon spell damage, max magica, and even magica or stamina sustain, depends on which resource is lower. Mundus stone, the mage mundus for extra magica, sugar scouts as buff food, the tricet food, and at few points everything into magica. Then potions, three different ones, in under pressure situation, definitely twice a potion needed. For pure damage, go with the spell power potions for prophecy and sorcery, and against annoying night blades, especially effective in IC, with a ton of gain costs, the detection potions. CPs, Daddy Aim, Mastered Arms, Ironclad and Dual Speed Buff, Red Ones, Pain Refuge, Sustained by Suffering, Shield Master to reduce the cost of your damage shields and Bastion to increase our damage shield effectiveness and even 15% damage done against shielded targets. Really nice. Alternative instead of Flame Reach or Spell where you could use Cinnamon Susceptibility. Like this you have access to Major Breach, the 6k penetration and then instead of the Master Inferno, which would be nonsense in this case, go with the Vitesha Inferno stuff. Combination start with Hunting Curse, into Reach, Crystal Fragment and Streak. Pretty simple. With Overload you can weave Overload in between. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.